What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So today we're out on the Cherry Hollow Skyway. Just uh, getting some riding in. They're calling for rain later on this evening. So we're trying to get our riding in early. Um, I think we're going to make our way down to Teleco Plains, probably Ball River Falls. And uh, we just stopped for about 10, 15 minutes. So I'm going to let my tires warm up just, just a tad. And then get on a little, just a little bit. That's not good. Flashing lights, not good. Is the runner all right? He's okay? Man, I 
hate to see that. But I'll tell you what, every time I come out here, every trip we make out to the mountains, we always see at least one crash. It's crazy. And I will say like nine times out of 10, the rider's like not from around here, usually. The, the ones that I've seen and actually like found out what happened, it's usually someone from out of town, um, someone who doesn't know the roads, pushing their limits a little bit too far. Like you might think that some of my riding is, I might be pushing myself, but I'm staying within my comfort zone. You know, I'm, I'm more so working on like my body position and stuff out here. Um, I'm not so much working on like speed. I'm just working on being smooth and body position. Um, those are my two main, plans to work on things while I'm out here but um yeah we had a friend of ours uh get hit by a motorcyclist uh, a young kid she was coming around a corner and the kid came from the opposite way on the tail of the dragon and basically came over into her lane and hit her basically head on um she's she's you know she's alive and she's doing better than she was but she's got a long road to recovery and let me tell you something guys it is not worth it you have to know your limits especially when you come to not even just the mountains but when you go to a road that is windy or it's it's a good motorcycle road just twisties windy roads um scenic you have to like kind of uh you know really tone it down because you never know man like you don't know how tight some of these corners are that's why when you see me going through them, a lot of times I'm in a higher gear, I'm like in third gear, and I'm just kind of cruising through them, so I can roll off the throttle and be all right. I'm not gonna have a whole lot of uh, engine braking, and I don't have to worry so much about losing traction if I do throttle out too hard. Um, so yeah, these are things to think about. So we're gonna enjoy the rest of this ride, but we're gonna keep that in mind, keep that in mind for sure.